Uh, the, the marsh uh, and the coastal wetlands have significant value to both people uh, and to nature. So this is the estuary where a lot of things are born uh, in the marine ecosystem and then go on from here to you know, be a bigger part of it. So this is the nursery uh, where things are born, but there's also uh, significant ecosystem services that the marsh creates in terms of flood mitigation, slowing waves, wave power down, <clears throat> and, and holding water. So it's important that the, the tidal uh, wetlands and the coastal marsh is stay around forever to help us into the future, especially as sea level is rising. We, we need to really protect what we have and it's, it's not a good idea to just like dump a lot of trash on it. It kind of interferes with the natural processes that are at work here and have been at work for eons. This year we've seen an, an increase in trash and debris out on the marsh and while certain levels of it are there year by year, it seems that it's increasing uh, in the amount that we're seeing. And it, I think that it has to do with among other things that sea level is rising, properties are getting flooded, and debris that's sitting around that you know people's cast off things are beginning to float away and they're accumulating out on the marsh. And that's a concern that my organization has and we're gonna be waging a campaign to try to clean it up and educate people to be better stewards of their property on the, on the uh, banks of the river. It's, it's a problem. You see, you see debris, you know, consistently. And uh, I know there's different organizations that have river cleanups and that, uh, and that you know, is, uh, is, is very helpful. But, I mean, you know, usually river cleanups are once or twice a year. So this is, it, it's basically consistent. And over the winter, there's not anybody out there cleaning up or anything. So you see more of it now in the spring. It's really difficult to, to get out there and pick it up because some of it's big and bulky and you need boats and the tide and the winds, it makes it difficult to uh, get out there and plan to do, do that kind of work. But the River Council, I, I'm their staff and that's one of the things that uh, they want me to do and they want to be involved in. Water, waterway cleanups are more difficult because you got to get out there and the weather and the tide, so it makes it harder to do uh, and there's a need for leaders and I'm gonna you know be a leader now more so than I have been in the past because I see it's an increasing problem.